As soon as the sand from Barbuda reaches the shores of Antigua, the task will start to get the surface in shape. The revelation has come from head of the Antiguan Barbuda Turf Club, Neil Cochran. So we're going to need you know, quite a bit of sand in, in the relaying of the racetrack surface. And I believe we may be in a position to, by next weekend to be able to, to, make, to make a payment um, needed to, to get the sand over here. Um, it has to be sifted to a particular um, fraction and percentage that is needed for racetrack surface of transition. So we're doing that as well. Um, there's also some clay soil here in Antigua that we have to use to blend the sand with. The process should take approximately a month and a half to have the track up to the required standard. Equipment, aggregates, um, the, the, the work team, once everything is in place, it should not take more than four to six weeks to, to complete uh, the re railing and the resurfacing of the, of the facility. Cochrane adds that already an expert from the United States, Richard Tedesco, has made the design for the railing. Consultant or the California racetrack builder, uh, consultant of uh, build tracks around the world. And so he has been here and we have a design um, to make the track uh, more um, race friendly and also to improve our drainage. The official notes that the opening phase of the project exceeds over 100,000 US dollars. The second phase will involve public facilities and the final one will be the stables. Jack Matthew, ABS Sports.